Hello everybody, my name is Gatama, welcome back for a new video of AI Dungeon 2. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, uh, we went ahead and created our own little universe within Star Wars and everything. And uh, we did uh, quite a lot. Now, as you can imagine, uh, we jumped right into the action when uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan were fighting Darth Maul at the end of Episode 1. We managed to save Qui-Gon's li uh, Qui life from Darth Maul by shooting uh, Maul in the back. And we ca went back to Coruscant with uh, Anakin and stuff like that. Or we left him behind. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But uh, it was agreed with the Council that we should actually bring back, not only bring back Anakin back to his own planet of Tatooine. But also, like not train him in at all, and but also um, legit go uh, go and kill his mother for some reason because his mother apparently Yoda thinks his mother is the mysterious Sith Lord that we're all uh, searching for right here so it's gonna be quite interesting boys it's gonna be quite interesting indeed so first thing we're gonna we're gonna say is we're just gonna say we're gonna departure for Tatooine immediately with a uh, Qui-Gon because I'm gonna go with him they uh, assign Qui-Gon to do the job to go kill uh, Shmi for some reason so we're just going to say that uh, we're going to accompany him and stuff like that. We already said that. So let's just say that we're going to leave right away. All right. So I'm going to say Qui-Gon and I and you proceed to leave with Anakin towards his own planet of Tatooine, boys. You arrive on Tatooine and meet with Owen. He is in a similar sized moisture farm as Luke was in, uh, in before you saved him. Okay. Wait, we saved Owen or stuff like that? What the hell? What the hell are we talking about right here? Anyways. I guess uh, we're uh, talking to Owen now. Next up would be to uh, get out of there because we don't want to see Owen. We want to see Anakin's mother. I'm just going to ask where is his mother because we need to talk to her. After a moment of searching and calling out, you find her. She is lying in a squalid room filled with machinery. She looks up to, uh, at you with great despair and pain before saying a single word. All right, so I'm just going to say... So you have found me after all, says uh, Shmi, I guess. Because I don't want to play as her, so I um, don't want to lay the AI screw me or something. So she's telling you that she is the mother of Anakin that you have found her. All right. Yes, I. we know you're the mother. <laughs> we don't want information about this if we came here to kill you, not to, to get information from you. The hell are you talking about? All right. Well, I guess... If you have information, you might as well tell us, right? Yeah, there we go. So you might as well tell us what it is, I guess, if you have information. Sh Shmi tells you that there is another Sith Lord on planet Raxus. Raxus, really? He, was, he has a fortress in what uh, used to be the jungle, but he is now sinkhole before, uh, because of its great... Uh, it's now called sinkhole because of its great size. All right. That doesn't change the fact that you just sold out another uh, another one of your uh, brethren, I guess. All right. Well, I'm just going to say thanks for the information. I'm going to proceed to attack her, I guess. I'm just going to tell her uh, thanks for the information. And then we're going to proceed to attack her with our lightsabers because this is where we're here in the first place. It seems like we have a new location after that to deal with. So you you used to like uh, to, to chop, us, uh, chop up Sith Lords when you were with the Empire. What? What is this, boys? Seems appropriate to end this one the same way. All right, so I'm just going to say uh, you decapitate her and she falls to the floor as uh, her son, Anakin, watches in horror. Let's go. You then decide to take an extended uh, rest on Naboo where you lived out the rest of your life in peace. What? Okay, that seems interesting. I mean, that's not the way I wanted it to go at. What did we do with Anakin? You know what? Actually... Because we just decided to, I guess the that's pretty much an end game right there. The AI just decided to just finish that whole story up together. So I guess uh, I don't know what's gonna happen next. I guess we just gotta start over. Pretty sure we gotta start over. Which I'm gonna uh, take a moment to show you guys uh, what the uh, developers did for this uh, little, I guess map or whatever you wanna call it, right? The the the. The browser itself, they changed the browser so you can play any scenario you want back. Uh, you can go back to any scenario, previous scenarios you did and everything. It's much more clearer now what you can do. It's better made. 
So I like that quite a lot, boys. They actually changed that uh, a little bit. I'm gonna get those um, those rewards really quick. All right, so we're doing uh, pretty good. I guess the next stop is uh, where do we want to start, right? What's gonna be our next adventure for now? Um, not exactly sure. What we can do is just a quick one, I guess. We can go look for something that could uh, seems a particular, uh, particularly uh, fun. Like, uh, say, Super Villain RPG could be great. Uh, there's also Super Hero RPG, I just saw it. Ruling a Country Simulator, but that seems a bit too tough for me. Not gonna lie. You know what? Let's try to be either Super Villain or Super Hero. I kind of want to be a Super Villain, boys. Let's try and be a Super Villain. Why not? Let's try this one out, right? Um, I don't want that, so I'm just gonna say, let's play. Let's put play. We're gonna try and be a super uh, villain for now. See if uh, that's gonna work out or not, boys. So, what is my name? Alright, boys, I just figured something out. You actually don't need to put any name whatsoever. You don't need to put any name. So, I'm just gonna say, um, black right here. And a death as my last name, I guess. Because it's gonna come up together just fine. So, what is my age? My age, I actually legit don't know what my age could be, boys. Uh, could it be, um, I guess, I guess I could put my real age, I guess 25 or something. So put 25, boys. What is your gender? Okay. I guess my gender. What, a male, I guess? How long is your hair? Uh, pretty short, I guess. There we go. What is your hair color? My dog is literally doing his thing right now, boys. You're probably going to hear him in the background right now. He's going to be super annoying. All right, so where is my air color? I would say brown, boys, I guess. What is your job? When you aren't causing trouble? I don't have any job. Uh, no jobs. No job whatsoever. I don't have any troubles. I'm always causing trouble. Where do you live? For example, Joker lives in Gotham. Well, I don't, well, do I want to live in a specific place, though? I'm just going to say, I guess, Montreal. Why not? I'm just going to say Montreal. Uh, what is your, uh, is your uh, secret identity? My, I, I don't have a secret uh, identity. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, what, uh, what are your powers? Fill in the blank. You have the power to... All right, so if you... Have more than uh, than one, write something like you have the power to fly, you have super hearing, super speed. So the sentence can make sense. So what is going to be my first power right here, boys? I was thinking of similar powers as towers-ish, but a mix of Marvel as well and stuff like that. I don't want to be too OP. I just want to have cool powers and stuff. I feel like um, having the power of uh, force crush would be great as well because i really like that power quite a lot uh, i have the power to uh i guess force crush is that even a thing uh, i don't know if they're gonna recognize that but i'm just gonna say force crush all right so i have force crush i guess i have i'm gonna say super speed for sure super speed uh is a thing in star wars anyways so i'm just gonna have uh, super speed as well all right, I'm just gonna say mimic abilities. All right, so that's what I'm gonna say. So I've got mimic abilities. What that does, what that means is I can mimic anything any other people would do in real life. So there it goes, boys. That's what I'm basically gonna say right here. What color or colors are your super villain suit? My color of my super villain suit, boys. I would tend to say black and white. Uh, black and a white uh, right here, boys. Pretty much uh, very simple. What extra detail does your suit have that makes you different? For example, Superman has an S. Fill in the blank. Your suit has a hoodie, I guess. That's what I'm going to say. What is your uh, ar uh, arch enemy's name? You know what? We'll play this the fun way. I'll say Wolverine, boys. I'll say Wolverine because he's my favorite superhero. So, um... You know what it is. You got to have him as my arch enemy. Uh, what is his powers? Pretty simple. Healing regenerations and adamantium claws, boys. Pretty simple. So there, there we go. So uh, we're going to have uh, Wolverine as my main guy. So let's see how it goes. And Montreal makes a bit of sense because he's a Canadian as well, Wolverine. Now, he doesn't come from Quebec, but 
She's still a Canadian nonetheless. You're Black Def, uh, 25 year old old uh, male, I guess. You have short brown hair. You work as no as a no jobs during the the day in Montreal. You have you have never told anyone your secret. Well, I don't have any secrets. You can't trust anyone with this secret. You're a super villain, a very good one. In fact, you are known as. That doesn't even make sense, boys. Uh, anyways, you have the power to uh, force crush, super speed, and mimic abilities. Of course, you found it was best to keep a moral, li a normal life, so you wear a suit when you are causing trouble. I don't know about that one. Your suit is black and white, and as your suit, and your suit has a hoodie. There we go. You haven't been a supervillain for long, but in the time you have been, you managed to attract the attention of an annoying superhero. Wolverine never backs down from a fight. They keep, uh, uh, they keep, wait, no, he keeps uh, getting in the way of your plan. Uh, the most annoying part of it uh, is that they have powers that in almost rival your own. Yes, absolutely. They have the power to, uh, to heal, well, to heal, I guess. Uh, for the last week, you have been planning a new way to get rid of that pesky superhero. You decide to take a break for uh, from all your planning and decide to go and get some target uh, practice in. You look around the city, you see a bank that you know a lot has a lot of money. Perfect. You walk into the bank and tell the, letter, uh, the teller that everything is going to be just fine and I don't need to worry about anything. Alright. But for na right now, all I have that's regular powers is a force rush and super speed. So whoever comes in, if it's Wolverine, it's perfect. But whoever comes in, um, it's going to be uh, tough, right? I don't know uh, whoever's going to come in with whichever power. I'm going to be able to mimic his powers, but I need to learn his powers first, you know? I, I steal the money, I guess. Steal the money and leave, I guess. Simple. So I steal the money and leave. That's pretty uh, simple. So you take the tellers completely by surprise when you tell them that you want to leave with all the money. They clearly thought that you were going to do something rash and start shooting. They have no idea what to do. They start shooting? Man, you gotta be shitting me. Alright, so I use my super speed to... I'm just gonna say I'm gonna use my super speed to get out of the way and knock them all out of their uh, asses. I'm just going to say you use your super speed in order to evade all the bullets and to get away with the money. You start running at super speed, bullets start hitting all around you. You get out of the bank and run down the street. You know that the helicopter that is tracking your location is in the air right now. Well, what can I do about that, boys? Alright, so I'm just going to say uh, you point towards the helicopter and, use pro in, uh, and proceed to crush it while it is flying. I can't actually ride down myself boys i'm a terrible rider cause trouble there we go you use your powers to crush the helicopter it falls out of the skies and you search it for uh, survivors but there are none there's none well, that's perfect i proceed to leave i guess i'm just gonna say i proceed to leave the area altogether boys because i don't want to be i don't want to stick here just kill a bunch of dudes from the chopper what am i gonna do here boys you leave the scene and change up your plans you will start with a new city and try again. You think about where you go, you should go next. So you head up towards Quebec City, boys. Just created trouble in Montreal. Well, I might as well go uh, west uh, and, um, uh, on the map and uh, go towards Quebec now, the capital. You head up towards the city of Quebec. You know that it isn't a major crime scene, uh, but uh, you never sh you never know. You get the outskirts to the outskirts of the city and you see a man uh, a man in a gray hoodie. A man in a gray hoodie. Okay. What do I do here? Do I want to, like, do I want to talk to him or whatever? Who are you supposed to be exactly, my guy? I'm just going to ask him right now. A gray hoodie. You trying to steal my gimmick right here? Uh, the, ma that, the man doesn't react at all. It's as if you aren't even there. You're a ghost. Hey, I'm talking to you, man. The hell are you ta uh, doing, man? You're ignoring me or something? This guy is very mysterious, boys. I don't like it. The man ignores you again. You swear this guy must have superhuman senses. You are a ghost. You pass the man and continue on your way to your target. Okay, that's a strange one. Alright, that's very strange, boys. We got something interesting here going on. We got like uh, some sort of ghost or something or a strange human being. 
uh, that's like literally like a watch or something. That's very interesting. So I guess I'm gonna head out towards another bank. All right, so I'm just gonna say you enter another bank and proceed to steal the money once again, boys. Another one. All right, I'm already rich. Stole from Montreal already. About to steal from Quebec. All right, so you enter the bank and approach one of the tellers. You know, with this great economic climate and all, I really think you should take a out additional compensation life insurance. Uh, I say, okay, that's a very strange thing to say. That's not what I would ever say, but whatever, I guess. I'm just going to say, now give me the money, man. There we go. Just give me the money, please. I need it. I, I need it. I need to get the hell out of here and quick. I don't know who that guy in the hoodie is, is though. The teller uh, eyes widen as you force your way past him and take the safe. Teller's mouth also parts slightly. You continue to ignore your interrupters. You are a ghost. Interesting. So it keeps telling me I am a ghost, boys. So I don't know what that means exactly. I really don't. I'm just going to say I get the money and leave the bank. All right. So I got another another bag right here. You leave the bank and begin to walk with the loot. You have taken a million from the bank. With just a million? That's all they had? You got to shit in me. That's not a lot. I'm just going to say, I guess I'm going to head towards the safe house and stash the money there. Because uh, we need to stash the money somewhere. And you enter a gas station and use the restroom. Wait, a gas station is not a safe house. What are you talking about? While in there, you think about recent uh, your recent activities. You have been very lucky so far. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't screw it up, man. Don't jinx me, game. I definitely have been lucky. Where is the fuck? Where the fuck is Wolverine? Who is the f who the fuck is the that gray hoodie guy? That's very interesting. It keeps saying I'm a ghost as well. I mean, I'm just gonna say myself. If you, if I'm that lucky, might as well keep robbing banks across the country. You finish your business and leave. You get in your car and drive off. Why do I need a car? I've got super speed. What the hell? You have driven for about 15 minutes when you notice an alert just pop up. On, on your phone. I'm just gonna say I guess it shows an image of my face as a wanted med, I guess. Your eyes widen and you quickly pull over. You get out of your vehicle and begin to run. A group of FBI agents soon arrive on the scene. They look angry. Well well, might as well leave my car, boys. The hell now I need I gotta use my super speed and get the hell out of here. Just gonna say I managed to flee with, uh, the scene with my super speed. Uh, you run into the woods as fast as you can. You manage to get away, but they have your vehicle and now, uh, and now where you are right now, and know where you are right now. How do they know where I am? How can they possibly follow me at the speed I'm going, boys? My sh that shit makes no sense. Just gonna say, uh, I turn around and face them, I guess. Let's see what happens there. I'm uh, very excited, boys, to see what happens there. They can't stop me. You turn around in the middle of the woods with your loot. You need to stall for time. You know the loot into uh, uh, you throw the loot into the bushes, then start walking towards the agent. Yes, exactly. I need to stall, man. I'm just gonna say, uh, what's up, dudes? What's going on here? One of the agents comes up to you. What the hell do you think you're doing? You just made us look like fools on national TV. You think quickly. Hold on, I can explain. So I'm just gonna say, how about this? And I proceed to punch the officer's face. Which sends him flying across the forest, boys. How about that, boys? Take that for an excuse. They are shocked by this reaction. What the hell did you just do that for? That was our lead field agent in charge of other agents. What's your name, boy? What the fuck are you talking to me? You t just tell me, boy, you think quickly? I'm just gonna say, I don't have a name. What, uh, what's, uh, what about that? The man seems confused. But boy, you need a name so we can give you back to the FBI. <laughs> You don't respond. Hello? You remain silent. So there we go, boys. This was fun and all, but you have to get what I have to get going. So bye-bye. Uh, and you proceed to run at super speed, but not, uh, but not before grabbing the bag of money, of course. I gotta leave with the money. So, you are surrounded. Uh, you are caught in a dragnet. You are surrounded uh, an odd number by the FBI. You begin to run, only to be shot down by the agents. You fall to the ground, screaming in pain. What the hell? They caught me? What am I not that fast? My super speed abilities are garbage, boys. All right, so I'm just gonna be super uh, bad about this. I crush one of the trees around me and uh, it basically falls on the officers and kills them. 
Your pain, the pain eases as you manage to break the tree's fall, killing them instantly. The money's bag falls to the ground. There we go. The money bag falls to the ground. You have been killed by the FBI on tonight's target. I have been killed? Okay, that game makes no sense, boys. You know what? Whatever, man. That game makes literally no sense whatsoever. Sometimes the AI just is super confused about what's going on. It just told me that I killed them. Does that mean the, f the, the tree just fell into me as well and killed me as well? That was the most anticlimactic thing ever. What the fuck? Oh well, I guess we're gonna stop it for today, boys. Uh, that's pretty much it for AI Dungeon. Don't know if you really want to come back to it or whatnot. Uh, I did uh, by now already put up a poll uh, for upcoming new games that you guys might want me to play. So uh, I'm gonna wait for the poll to be uh, to get, have a good decent amount of votes for uh, for it, and then I'll decide which games I'm gonna play for you guys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, mini series. I'll see you guys uh, for the next one. Keep it easy.